Hi friends, uh, welcome back to Coffee with Ravi. Um, one of the topics that I have uh, heard requests from you is to talk about diabetes. Obviously diabetes is a very big topic and uh, we'll try to cover it little pieces at a time through the next few months. I have uh, a slide set uh, from the uh, American Association of Clinical Endocrinology and American College of Endocrinology that lays out 11 principles uh, of management of type 2 diabetes. There are two forms of diabetes and we'll get into it. Type 1 where the body's own immune system destroys the pancreatic cells and type 2 which has a different way that raises the blood sugar and we'll talk about that. But I thought from a practical standpoint we'd cover the 11 principles uh, around which therapy can be organized. Number one is lifestyle modification and I have a slide to follow that will be a little more in detail. The second principle of management of diabetes is to avoid hypoglycemia. If the blood sugar drops too low, it can be a scary thing. People can get knocked out. More recently, my mother had an episode of hypoglycemia and it was quite upsetting to her as well as my father so I know how that can affect people. Avoiding weight gain because it's very intrinsically tied to diabetes. The number four point is that the glycemic targets in other words there is a way that we can measure how effective the diabetes control is and you don't want to lower it too much or sometimes you may want to lower it a little more than what has been happening. So it has to be individualized. The goal is to have this target or the A1C, uh, which is the measurement of how effective diabetes is in the blood at 6.5 or lower. Treatments reflect or are based on patient choices. In other words, it can be dependent on cost, choice, as well as if there's associated kidney disease, heart failure, or heart disease. The next point is that diabetes comes with its own secondary problems, which could include uh, care of the feet or eyes or kidneys, and all of those need to be monitored. I think it's important to get to the goal very quickly, and I think the choice of treatment has to be owned by the, by the uh, provider as well as the patient. There's a technology called continuous glucose monitoring uh, that will try to demonstrate on future videos on how that works. That's a very effective tool in monitoring diabetes control. The first point then which I wanted to cover is then lifestyle therapy. It's divided into nutrition, sleep, physical activity, behavioral support and smoking cessation. The goal is to maintain optimal weight along with some calorie restriction, eating a plant-based diet, and we've talked about eating a diet that's more full of polyunsaturated fat as well as monounsaturated. So in other words, things like olive oil, canola oil, uh, healthy fats like omega-3s and walnuts, these are the things that we should try to aim for along with a plant-based diet. There's a thing called trans fats. There's been a lot of, uh, it's an artificially cooked up fat uh, that's in a lot of uh, food additives and I think it's best to avoid it. And I think a structured meal program or a meal replacement program could be important and we can talk about some of these a little more in detail. The physical activity recommendation is to have about 150 minutes per week of moderate exertion. Moderate is where you're actually uh, slightly out of breath when you're walking or when you're exercising to a level that you cannot talk. Sleep is important because I think basic sleep hygiene uh, can be helpful in diabetes control along with behavioral support and alcohol moderation. Tobacco or smoking drives some of the same problems that cause problems with diabetes in terms of kidney or in terms of blood vessel damage so it's best to avoid these. So these are principles and I urge you to make a note of this and then start thinking about it and dialoguing with your healthcare provider and we'll continue to kind of talk about some of these different aspects of those 11 principles that the American College of Clinical Endocrinology lays out. Thank you uh, and I hope to see you next week.